So it's the 24th of February. I've just woken up, hence this situation. I'm literally still in my pajamas. I just got an email to say that my ethics exam results have been released. Genuinely was not expecting them for another month, so I've been caught off guard here, and I don't want to check, so we're gonna check together. I, I just want to pass, as long as it's a 2-2 two, two and above, and so I passed, then I'm happy, but I actually feel sick, because I really don't know if I've even done that, and what happens if I failed the very first thing I took on my master's course? Oh my god, I feel nauseous. I've got my laptop here. Positive vibes, positive vibes. Okay, I can't even remember how to find it. Let me go back to the email. Very anticlimactic for you guys, I know. Okay, where well, you made your submission. All right, let me find the module. Ethics. Jonathan, please be kind to me. I want to one ideally, but the pass I will take. Oh shit, okay, I'll fucking take that. Oh, thank God. <sighs> I'll take that. Oh my God, Jesus. What did he say? Oh my god, I'm so happy with that. That's so relieving. Basically, I got a 66. Chuffed. What is that? That's like a mid 2 on. Oh my god. Genuinely, this is the first, obviously, well, this is one of the first things I submitted, first exam that I took. This module was kind of hard because it's ethics, which has a completely different marking criteria to law. So I was worried that like, I can't approach it like a law essay. I've got to do it like an ethics essay and I don't, didn't know how that would like transpire. 66, man. Sick. I'll take that. I'll save it for a 50. Right, what did Jonathan say? Did he grill me? And there's not much comments on this. This answer effectively surveys the major natural law arguments that sex outside of potentially procreative sex between married partners is immoral and raises some strong objection to this severe sexuality. The art that could be strengthened. <laughs> Mate. The other could be shown in many ways. I don't even want to read it. By narrowing down the focus. What do you mean? I, I love it when they say that at a master's level. Go even more narrow, even more narrow. I'm like, there's literally nothing to say if we narrow it down to that extent. Like, I don't know how there's words. Okay, to focusing on single argument from a single author. Do you know, him saying that relieves me because for my other ethics essay, that's all I did. I focused on one person's argument from one author. Do you know what, Jonathan? I don't care, I'll take it. 66? 66? That's literally like the average grade that I got all throughout my undergrad. That was the same as the very first grade I got when I did my undergrad. So I'm happy now, but I'm also gonna be feel sick when I like open the others. But in my head, this, this, ethics, uh, this ethics module was my weakest module. The one that I would find the hardest to grip because the other ethics module from first term was an essay and I spent a long time on it and then the other module was law. Imagine if I fail the law module, it's not even funny. <laughs> okay, so it's March 3rd. I'm literally just sitting here having a hot cross bun lunch and I feel like I got half my lunch on my face still. <laughs> These are so messy. So I get an email and I'm like, oh, I wonder who that can be because it's on my university account and obviously like, what could it be? And I clicked and I was like, and it was like, your raw results. And it was in the email, so I've already seen it. Okay, but I don't know what module this is for. There's, so, not really a reaction, but I did, I don't know when these results are coming out. I just get emailed them and I'm like, okay. And it says, oh, it doesn't even say what the module is. It just says the code. What code, what module is that? Oh, my law module. Okay, well again. Okay, your raw marks. For essay one, you got a 68. I'm so happy. Okay, and for question two, you got a 67. Your overall module mark is a 68. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh my God, best interests. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so relieved to be honest, because that means that like so far we've got a 66, 67, 68 for my modules. That means that's where I'm at. And obviously the marking criteria for a master's is 10 points higher than it is for a final year of degree. So the fact that I'm pretty much performing on a similar level, maybe slightly lower because I got more firsts in my last year, is good because I'm happy. If I graduate with a 68, which is a high merit, a laughing, laughing. Okay, the markers comments, let's read these. I pu I'll put it here, what the markers comments are, because it's a sentence. Bear in mind, I did over 2,500 words for this exam and I get one sentence. Uh, it says, question one, thoughtful and well-constructed. That's it, <laughs> for my first essay, my second essay. As above, so also thoughtful and well constructed. Thank you. Re tears about voluntariness. Would have been scope for more reference to academic critique. Watch sentence construction. Occasionally a phrase is presented as a sentence. I have no idea what that is referring to. I love it how it's. Re tears about voluntariness. Is it? 
I don't even remember what re-t is. <laughs> so the exams have gone well, now for the essay. Imagine if, no, I'm, I'll be like, imagine if that one's the worst one and I spent three weeks on it. I emotionally don't have the capacity for that. I really don't. Anyway, okay, see you then. Oh my God, guys. Guys, I just got back from a run, as you can tell, and I accidentally opened my emails. This is the theme of this whole video, right? I opened my emails and it was like from the woman who releases grades, but grades normally come out on a Wednesday. So I was like, it's Thursday, I'm so confused. And I got my essay mark back, which is so funny because it's the worst mark of them all. So I actually did worse in the essay that I spent two weeks on than I did an essay that I spent 10 hours on. We love to see it. I got a 65 though, pretty happy with that. A high 2-1, I guess it's classed as. So I'm properly happy that I basically got 65 in the essay, 66 in my ethics exam, and a 68 in my law exam. Loads of feedback, like literally, that's the one thing I do love about Alex. He gave was like properly good feedback. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But you know, pause if you wanna read that because I'll probably read it at a later date so you'll read it before I will. This essay makes a reasonable attempt. <laughs> Thanks. This essay makes a reasonable attempt to engage with some very difficult literature for which the author should be applauded. Thank you. The rest of it is just breaking my heart. I don't wanna read it, but you know what? Past all of my exams, I'm basically averaging, what's that? 66, 65, 68. I can't be bothered to work that out, I'm not gonna lie. So it'll be like a 66, 67 probably that I'll average out at. Pretty much what I graduated with, give or take. I'll take it, I'll take it. Pretty happy with that. Um, that's all the grades that I got released. Can't believe this video has been so like all over the place, cause you know, I just get them on the cuff and like I feel like I don't understand how people plan these videos where they actually sit down and have makeup on look real nice. I think it's cause they see the email and then they actually have self control to not open it. I don't, I see the email and have to just, I have to know that it'll eat me. But yeah, pretty happy with it all on overall. So I guess it's also interesting for you guys if you watch how I've written my essays, how I've done my exams, to then see the grades that I've got and the feedback that I've got to then like apply that to your own. But yeah, that's pretty much all the exams and stuff that I've got for term one. I'll do another one of these videos. Well, I guess it'll be like in June, July when I get the second batch of all my essay grades through. But until then, I hope you like this video. See you guys in the next one, see you guys next time.